Hello everybody and thank you for taking your time to watch the video and your interest in Island Packet Yachts. As you can see it's early in the morning and I'm here to do the video on Resolute. This is actually the only time I was able to get down here and uh, so uh, you can see the blue courtesy lights that we do on the transom underneath the steps. And then currently I have the radar arch light set on blue as well. Those will also do white. We've got two solar panels. We have a beautiful sunrise in the background. We have a Starlink antenna. Solar panels, by the way, are about 425 watts each. The boat is done in ivory and camel tan on the exterior. You can see the screened enclosure. We also have an Isinglass enclosure, the hard rail around the cockpit area, the stern rail seats. This will give you a good chance to see the mass lighting that we do. We do spreader lights that go down, and then on the upper spreaders, we do spreader lights that go up, and on the lower spreaders, we go do lights that do both up and down, and of course, the traditional four deck light. the big Mantis 85 pound anchor on the bow along with a Delta 55 secondary of course we do 400 feet of chain on the primary and then we do 350 feet of line and a shot of chain on the secondary the lighting canvas color is navy with the buckskin trim See if I can get us on board. Uh, the lines leading aft here on the port side as well as starboard side is the blue in the main sheet. So they come right down the side to each primary winch. Your Seldine solid hydraulic boom vine. did do the uh, synchronized mainsail on this boat. Of course, we've eliminated the boom back uh, 20 boats ago. We have a self-tacking jib track, really opens up the foredeck, allows you to get around. We have enough light on the foredeck that we're actually casting a shadow. Up and down windlass controls, seawater as well as fresh water wash down nice size cleats low fran windless again as we mentioned the dual bow roller system we did do the electric furlers so no furling lines leading aft and uh, makes it really nice and easy honestly i've gotten spoiled uh, i do love the electric furlers and the synchronized mainsail system Blue courtesy lights at all the gates, boarding gates. And again, there's the enclosure. Looking up on top, canvas. I'm gonna jump over to the other side. We'll give a quick look at the cockpit. And then honestly, I gotta get to work at the factory. 
about 6.30 a.m., by the way. All right, we are inside Resolute, inside the cockpit with the screened enclosure. I'm gonna sit down at the cockpit. So what we have to the starboard side of the cockpit, those buttons are for the head cell furlers. And then we have electric primaries here as well for the uh, sheet lines so your jib sheet your main sheet and your reacher sheet all come back to the primaries and with them being two-speed electric it makes it pretty nice we have the same thing on the other side so whether you're bringing uh, your sheet line is to port or starboard you're able to push the buttons and take the cells in and control the sheet lines at the same time single-handed this is a hot and come shower off. Helm cover I'm gonna leave on. I know y'all seen that plenty of times. We've got three electronics up on the sea hood. They can, they're multis, they can be whatever you want. And then, uh, here on the cabin top. Oops, sorry guys, it's gotten dark on me. My phone, I'm not sure what to do in this lighting. So I'm gonna shut this down for now. And thank you for taking the time to take a look at the exterior of Resolute 439-24. We wish uh, Rick and Leslie a happy cruising adventures and Lots of great memories on board. Everybody take care and God bless.